everyone, Miss Beth here from Sultana Education Foundation, and in this video, I'm going to tell you a little bit about my favorite animal in the Chesapeake Bay. Well, one of my favorites, uh, the Eastern Oyster. And the reason I like oysters so much is because you look at them on the outside, and they just look like this boring rock. Not much going on. They don't move. They hang out on these reefs, but they actually do some really cool things to help clean the Chesapeake Bay. Okay, so hopefully you can see the oysters a little bit better now. So before I started this video, I opened the oyster. To do that, you need a special tool. It looks kind of like this. It's called a shucking knife. And what I did is I made sure I put a glove on to protect my hand, and I used the knife to open the oyster down here. And after I opened down here, I cut along the top, and that made it to where I could open my oyster. So oysters are what scientists call bivalves. That means it has two shells. So you can see here's one shell and here's the other. And the reason I had to use that special tool to open it is if you look right here, do you see how it's kind of white and then almost a clear color? That is a muscle. So you have muscles in your arms and your legs and that's what helps you move your body. The oyster has this muscle, the adductor muscle, and that's what helps it open and close its two shells. Something else that's really cool about the oyster is this right here is the mantle, and I'm gonna actually pull the mantle back, and it's easier to see kind of down here. I'll move it up closer to the camera. Right here, there's these little structures, and there's actually four of them those are the oyster's gills. And the gills are really cool because that's what helps the oysters breathe. So if you go like this and breathe out, right now you are using your lungs to take oxygen out of the air. The oyster, the gills do that same thing, but instead of taking oxygen out of the air, it takes it out of the water. And it also takes something else out of the water. It takes these little tiny plants that are floating in the water called phytoplankton and it eats them. And if you go further down towards the end and you look, there's these little pieces right here. That is the oyster's mouth. And the mouth, just like you, ends up leading to the stomach. So when you put something in your mouth and you swallow it, it ends up in your tummy. Same thing happens with the oyster. Food goes in the mouth and then it ends up right here in the stomach. Now, sometimes there's things that might be in the water that the oyster doesn't want to eat. And instead of just spitting it out, what it does is it wraps it in this really gross mucus and it spits it out. And that little pocket, even though it's gross, is actually really important because it sinks to the bottom of the bay. And what that does is it helps clean the water. And that is really important because plants need clean water so sunlight can get all the way down to where they are and they can grow. So that is kind of some of the cool features of an Eastern oyster in about three minutes. Um, there's so much more to explore, but I wanted to keep this to just a couple of minutes. Um, so if you want to learn more about oysters or do more activities, make sure you check out our online classroom at sultanaclassroom.org. Thanks so much for tuning in and we'll see you later. Bye!